This is Film Masters, and today we're using Premiere Pro, and we're going to be going through the effects, controls, and we're going to go through the effects and applying these to a clip on the timeline. So how we add effects onto our timeline is pretty simple. First of all, let's have a look at the effects controls window. So we've got the clip selected. So that's the most important thing. Once you select the clip, you're then able to modify it. So let's have a look at what we can do with it. So let's just drop down, first of all, the motion. So this allows us to adjust the position of the video clip in our screen. We can go left and right, obviously. Um, we can do keyframes as well to the video. For example, I could select a keyframe, as you can see, toggle through the timeline and slide the video. So then when I play it, by pressing spacebar on the keyboard, as you can see, it moves. So that's one thing that we can do on the effects control. Something else we can do as well as adjust the scale of the clip. And obviously you can keyframe all these. Uh, rotation, we can adjust the rotation of the clip. We can also adjust the anchor point, where we want the anchor point to sit. And we can also do any flicker. One of the other things that we can do as well is opacity. Now this is really good. Let's say for example, we want to fade in. So we might press the space bar, let it play out, stop. I want to add a keyframe here. So let's go up and add a keyframe. Let's go back to the beginning, bring the opacity down to zero. So when I play it, we've got a nice fade in. So that's how we can do fade ins in Premiere Pro. Now I can remove that by simply unclicking it. It will tell me that with a warning saying this action will be deleted existing keyframes. Do you want to continue? I select OK. And as you can see, it deletes those keyframes. We can also adjust the speed of the clip via time remapping. So we can speed the clip up or as, you, as you're probably aware, we can adjust it and make it slow like slow motion. Something else that you'll notice in the uh, effects controls window is that we can also adjust the volume for the clip. So I can adjust the volume up and down and the channel volume. We can also adjust the pan of the sound. Let's say for example, I want a gunshot or a car to come from the left hand side of the screen and make it sound like it's going through to the right hand side. I can adjust the sound to the far left, setting a keyframe, move it to the right and adjust it to the far right. So what will happen is allow me to have a sound pan from left to right. But we'll cover all this when we do the audio mixer. So I'm just gonna reset that. Let's put it back to zero. Now I'm gonna start playing it down here with the effects palette. Now in this effects palette, as you'll see, we've got some already pre-existing presets that have been set in there. We've also got some audio effects, audio transitions, video effects, and video transitions. Let's have a look at some of those video effects first. We'll cover the audio in the next tutorial. So as you can see under video effects, we've got adjustment. So if I drop that down, you can uh, auto color, auto contrast, auto level, extract levels and so forth. We can also uh, play around with our blurs and sharpen. So we're gonna adjust the clip, the channel, so if we have a look at into the channel, you can see there's other presets, insert, set, matte, solid, composite. As you can see, under color correction, we can adjust the brightness and contrast. We can play around with the broadcast colors, change color, change color two. There's a few other presets there. So obviously when we start playing around with color correction, which will be another video tutorial coming up shortly, we'll be using these presets to play around. Now, if you have a plugin that you've added to Premiere Pro, you'll find that those plugins will be located in here. For example, you can see that I have Null, Null Light Factory. You also notice that I've got a lot of Red Giant plugins also. So if I wanna play around with color and so forth. So let's have a look to see what it looks like when we actually apply effect to a clip. So what I'll do, I'm gonna to go to color correction, drop that down, I'm gonna grab brightness and contrast, and I'm gonna drag it straight onto my clip. Now the first thing that you'll notice up in the effects control, you'll notice that the brightness and contrast 
has now appeared in our list of effects. Here we can start making finer adjustments to our video clip. For example, start adjusting with the brightness and contrast. Now you can add multiple effects. Let's say for example, I want to now add a blur. Might bring it down and put a Gaussian blur on. You'll notice you can put as many effects as you like on the video clip. Just be mindful depending on how fast your computer is, it may slow your clip down. So I can go up to the Gaussian blur setting now and give it a blur. You'll also notice that you can keyframe these effects. And if you want to actually delete one, let's say for example, I've added a few effects and I realized I didn't want the Gaussian blur. Instead of just turning it down, I can actually select the effect and then simply press delete on my keyboard. And as you can see, that effect is now deleted. I'm now gonna play around with some other effects. So I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna shut these down and bring up the video transitions. So we're gonna have a look at the video transitions now. So first of all, let's cut the clip. So I've just pressed C on the keyboard so I can make a cut. And so I'm gonna make a transition between this part straight into the next part, as you can see. So obviously you'll probably have two different clips. I've just got the same one. This is just a demonstration. Let's say for example, let's do a dissolve, select it. Let's try a dip to black. And what happens is when you hold your cursor over between the two clips, you'll highlight both of them showing you where that transition will be. Once you're happy with it, release it. So if we have a look and press play, so that does the dip to black dissolve. Now obviously you can go through all these video transitions and see what type of transition you'd like to add an effect. But let's have a look at something else. If I select it, it will bring up in the effects control so you can make some modifications if you'd like. For example, you can adjust the start times of when you want the fade to begin. Another thing you need to have a look at is the way it displays the transitions a little bit different in this screen. For example, clip A being this clip is shown above clip B being this clip here with the transition in between. So you can actually slide that around and adjust the transition. Now you'll notice as I do that on the right hand side, if you've got two different clips there, it will show you different variations of whereabouts that transition will be dropped onto. And if you want to go back to the original clip or the original effects control, just select one of the clips. And as you'll see, it will just appear again. You can also see that the transition is showing up on the timeline. Now, one thing I'm always asked by some of our subbies is when we're doing a transition, how do I actually delete the transition? If you select it up here, you can't delete it. It's not showing up in the effects controls. That's pretty simple, actually. If you have a look on the timeline, you'll see that the clip is showing here. If you select it, right click on it and select clear, the transition's gone and then you're able to go through and find another transition that you may like to use instead. So we've now covered the effects controls. Once you've selected the clip, you can then adjust each one of those clips individually. And I've also showed you the effects palette where all the effects are located. Now let's say for example, you want to do something to a clip without actually touching the clip, without even affecting the clip. Something else I wanna show you, which we'll get into a little bit later on in these upcoming tutorials is in Premiere Pro CS6 and above, you can also add a new layer. So what it is, is a new adjustment layer by selecting that. If you use After Effects, for example, you'll be aware of how adjustment layers work. Same thing in Premiere Pro. So I can add an adjustment layer above all my clips, like so. If I select that, I can now drop down, say, a video effect. I might go to Color Correction, Brightness and Contrast, drop that onto my adjustment layer. And what that means is anything underneath the adjustment layer will be affected. So if I move it across and cover all the videos I want affected with it, I can now adjust all the videos on the timeline using just the adjustment layer. We'll be covering the adjustment layer in the next video tutorial, which will be color correction. 
Now, if you want to become a Film Master subby, it's pretty simple. All you need to do is simply jump onto our channel, subscribe, like us on Facebook and on Twitter. And until next time, don't just film it, master it.